Hi kids, story time again. And again, this is one of the stories from my favorite fairy tale book, which is the Terry, De Cher Terry Jones book of fairy tales. This story is called The Island of Purple Fruits. A sailor was once shipwrecked on a strange island. He swam ashore and then turned and watched as his ship sank beneath the waves. But he didn't despair. I will build myself another boat to take me home, he said. And I will also build a great fire that I will light and attract the attention of any ship that passes. So he got to work. And in the meantime, he lived off the fruits and the berries that grew on the island in abundance. On this island, however, there was one kind of fruit that he could never taste. It was large and purple and it grew high up in the tallest of trees. The trunk of the tree was perfectly smooth and impossible to climb. But as he gazed up at those lovely purple fruits, the sailor said to himself, I am sure that those are the most delicious fruits on the island. I'm going to taste them no matter what. So he stopped building his boat and built himself a ladder instead which he leant against the tree and then he climbed to the top, picked a fruit and ate it. It had tasted more delicious than anything else he had ever eaten in his life and that night he dreamt a wonderful dream. He dreamt he had finished his boat and that it was a fine vessel with tall sails. On it he sailed back in his dream across the vast ocean to his wife and children and he was truly very happy. And there he is at the top of that tree having eaten his fruit fast asleep. When he woke up he took another bite of the purple fruit and fell asleep again. And this time he dreamt that he had built himself a suit of feathers and this suit, and in this suit he flew like a bird over the waters and over to his home and his wife and children and they came out and waved to him and he flew on to the king's palace and the king gave him jewels and gold and a fine house where he lived with his family and they were all truly happy. When he woke up it was broad daylight and there in the bay was a great ship. At last he cried, I'm saved. And he ran down to the shore and waved and waved and waved. But the ship was already well out at sea and no one saw him. So he ran to his fire, but it had gone out. And before he could light it, the ship was but a speck on the horizon. The poor shipwrecked sailor sat down with his head in his hands in despair. Then he took another bite of the purple fruit and once more he slept and dreamt that he was truly happy. <clears throat> well, the months passed by and the sailor began to eat nothing but the purple fruits. And he dreamt all night and most of the day. Beautiful dreams in which he was truly happy. And so were his wife and children. Little by little he forgot all about building his boat that was going to take him home. And whenever the occasional ship passed the island, he never even noticed it, and the fire remained unlit. Thus, although the sailor returned home time and time again in his dreams, the years passed and still he remained on that desert island. One day, however, a tall ship entered the bay and sent a search party ashore to get fresh fruit and water. There they came across a ragged, the ragged figure of the sailor, sleeping happily under the purple tr fruit tree. They couldn't wake him, however hard they tried, and so they picked him up and carried him down to the ship. There they placed him in a bed and put out to sea once more. When the sailor eventually woke and, le and learned that what had happened, his rescuers expected him to leap for joy, but instead he cried, Oh no, I shall never be truly happy again for I shall never be able to eat any more of that purple fruit. There was no going back though, 
and eventually they returned him to his own country. There they made there he made his way home at long last. When he got there, he found it had all changed from his dreams, for he had been away for so long, his children had grown up, and the pretty young wife that he had left behind had grown old with work and care. Nevertheless, he took her in his arms and said, Why, I am as happy now as I was in my dreams on that island of purple fruits. But his wife said, How can you compare the happiness of a dream with true happiness? But it was like true happiness, replied the sailor. No one could be happier than I was in those dreams. But his wife looked at him and said, In your dreams on that island of purple fruits, did you dream that we were happy too? Indeed I did, said the sailor, and that made my happiness complete. Yet it was just a dream, said his wife, for we were still sad, believing you were dead. But now you have returned to us, you know it's not a dream, and that knowledge surely is true happiness. The sailor kissed his wife and children, and after that, although he often thought of the island of purple fruits and happiness of dreams, he never spoke of either again. The end.